Hello, my name is Kyle and I'm an active duty Army 68 Whiskey combat medic. I'm going to teach you how to properly apply a pressure bandage. You should apply a pressure bandage over a wound packed with a hemostatic dressing after direct pressure has been applied for three minutes. First, remove the bandage from the pouch and packaging. Next, expose the sterile portion of the bandage and place it directly over the hemostatic dressing or open wound and apply pressure. Wrap the elastic bandage around the wounded extremity while continuing to apply direct pressure. If using a dressing with a pressure bar, insert the elastic bandage completely into the pressure bar and reverse wrap it on itself. Pull the elastic bandage back over the top of the pressure bar. Reversing the wrap back over the top of the pressure bar forces the bar down into the pad. Wrap the elastic bandage tightly over the pressure bar. To ensure tightness, use short tugs and stretch the bandage fully, but be careful not to pull gauze out or off the wound during wrapping. Continue to wrap the elastic bandage around the limb so that all edges of the pad are covered. Secure the hooking end of the closing bar into the elastic bandage. If you are using a bandage with a Velcro end, pull up a piece of the wrap and secure it on the top and bottom with the teeth tabs. The bandage is now secure. Assess the circulation below the pressure dressing. If the skin below the pressure dressing becomes cool to the touch, bluish, or numb, or if the pulse below the pressure dressing is no longer present, the pressure dressing may be too tight, and you will need to loosen and re-secure the dressing. As always, when you have finished your initial care of the casualty, Document treatment on a DD-1380 Tactical Combat Casualty Care Card. Once other medical personnel arrive, inform them of your findings and treatment and assist with evacuation as requested.